Okay, um, so this is a review of um, eBay uh, purchases. Uh, this was over like the past, um, since like, since a while, like, it's been the past one of the five years. So uh, these are all, uh, all, all purchases on eBay basically. Um, uh, so we got antenna RF, uh, antenna module for Arduino. Was not able to build that um, unless you have an Arduino system. Um, at the time, topically, like, you know, you would get into programming or something like that, um, management information systems to do these things or databasing. But, I mean, with IoT, um, it's a sore stuck thumb. Um, you're better off with just general RFID equipment. I mean, Arduino is probably going nowhere. Raspberry Pi is probably going nowhere. Uh, Open 2, I could see uh, Linux is, you know, similar, but, you know, mostly illustrated by, like, uh, systems for organizations. So, you know, I, I don't know. Um, save your money up. Uh, don't buy Arduino. Uh, you probably won't need it. It's probably, you know, hotware uh, or somebody can hijack the signal. Um, I, I wouldn't do it. Um, you know, so you go go um, into more of my transactions here. Uh, this one is for an ultrasonic sonic module. I mean, it did the same thing. Practically doesn't do anything. Um, and it doesn't, like, you know... Um, illustrate like the signals like you can't um buffer signals or anything like that with a device um i tried i tried with a diode so you, you can't really do it unless it's um what's it called ill topical or inner topical or something like that so um or you have ceramic but i mean you'd have to have a particular ceramic that might cost like 30 dollars to buffer an instrument like arduino um this idea does not exist um i mean you're going to end up using you know, equipment to buffer a signal, which is like, I don't know, interfere with signals or, you know, kind of loop a signal, um, but it would be illustrated with a lot of equipment. So it might be uh, like a user experiment, um, basically. Um, yeah, so you can got, I have RFID, Omni ID, Fit 100 UHF on metal high temp 16 units pack. I bought this at a cheap price. It did come in. It was a UHF tag. I never uh, tried in UHF tag, so I was just trying to kind of experiment uh, kind of sociologi uh, sociologically wise or like just kind of watching the environment. Um, if I, or if ID of like a higher quality was you know, place somewhere like a street corner um, to see like tracking mechanisms in like phones and things like that. But um, unfortunately these got stolen. Um, so my backpack got stolen uh, that night um, when I was, when I was, uh, trying to do it and trying to get a uh, tag fit uh, for the mechanism for UHF. So, and again, you would need a specialized device. Um, things like a cat phone probably won't suffice for your actual phone. So like, don't, don't even uh, try probably. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's a crazy idea because it is a FIT system. So it's supposed to be, um, you know, manually setting like a manual set somehow for um, programming catalogs. So, well, that's it, idea at least, um, and you know, it's not supposed to work that way, but it does. So it's an interesting concept to track, didn't, didn't go well. Probably needs to be illustrated in a different system. Um, and, you know, RFID is, is you know, uh, incompatible with a lot of programming languages. Um, uh, so you're, you're kind of stuck there um, without like, you know, software that's meant for hardware uh, or software for a uh, business or like that has a business suite. So. They're getting kind of stuck there. Um, so yeah, you might want to try something else. ACS, uh, Bluetooth reader and writer. Um, I mean, if this was the one I got, I think I think I got this one. It was, it was a pretty pretty good uh, one, I, I believe. Um, it was interesting. It, it, it had some good qualities to it. Um, it was white, uh, wrote NFC chips um, and everything. Um, it can be, I think it was the only one that worked in the market at the time that was named brand, um, unfortunately. So um, kind of stuck there, unless it's another one, because I, I know I bought one. I'm not sure if I bought it from Amazon or this one, but um, yeah, it, it, it's, um, it was one of them. I know another one didn't work at all. Um, I think it was just to write UHF, but it, it didn't at all. Um, so then uh, I have an XM21 Soviet era industrial award uh, about that April 12th, 2018. So that was interesting. Um, it doesn't really do anything. So 
I mean, I just thought it was kind of interesting, like a Polish, uh, Russian, like kind of Soviet era award. Oh, no, what is it called? A uh, medal. It's called a medal. Um, but um, you know, it's it's interesting. I thought it'd be crazy, uh, cool antique. But you know, you never know with these antiques. So, I mean, you're at that age. You're getting antiques. Um, what are that moment in your life? Um, I mean. I try to build into like the, the idea of like getting like antiques and trying to you know understand the philosophy a little bit and categorizing a little bit is a lot of this plays out into you know college or just writing about um these studies like a journalist could write about these studies it, it would be an interesting concept um so I have a hundred twenty eight gigabyte micro SD SDXC flash TF memory card uh ten dollars I don't believe that one worked um. I don't believe it worked at all. So, go on, stun gun, police, M12, black, 16 BV, metal rechargeable with LED flashlight. Uh, not so good. I mean, it wasn't great or anything. It was like a handheld device. It, it kind of broke apart a little bit. I, I don't think this seller even sells anymore, but or this this device anymore. But, um, you know... It, it's, it wasn't that great. Let me go on. Uh, Microsoft Zoom 30 white MP3 player. Interesting. Um, again, it's a little bit old of technology. Um, not really... like it, Not like an iPod would be. Um, so, you know, you have that. Um, it was purchased February 16th, 2018. I just thought it would be interesting to have um, to kind of look at the technology back in the day for an MP3 player that was you know, capable of doing, you know, some cool things. Um, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could use it, but I mean, the software's outdated. It's not going to work uh, the way you think it's going to work. Uh, let me go to delivered uh, set of four primitive grungy watermelon ornaments handmade. Those were interesting. I gave them away to a shelter to to just have. So just kind of interesting. Uh, go on to uh, Murnad's PMD 661 MK2 professional digital stereo recorder. Uh, the one wasn't so good. It uses an SD card, um, no micro SD or anything like that. Very old technology, um, very fast paced, um, talk. Kind of like if you use an audio recorder to, to talk and it, it did a fast paced like voice and everything and it had shuttered, uh, volume, uh, tone and everything. Um, kind of like listening to, um, I don't know, someone with, like, a toned voice, I guess. Um, then we have Meredith's uh, PMD661 Digital Professional Solid State Stereo Field Audio Recorder. That didn't get delivered. The other one got delivered. So uh, basically the same one. And then we go to this, that one, old book or something. Um, 1893 Alfred Dolge Planifort's Materials NYC Letterhead Vintage. You know, it's interesting. Maple sugar record and claim for bounty IRS document. That that was fake. That was a fake document. So uh, reprinted and everything. That was fake. Criminal document, assault and battery, right? Switzerland County, India. It was interesting. Shipped 1950s Tom anti-acid medicine ad acid indigestion information booklet fold out. You know, again, it was interesting. Delivered uh, the CIA document of human manipulation, Kubark, uh, counterintelligence, counterintelligent, uh, uh, how do you say counterintelligence? Um, kind of interesting. I mean, not too much information. You're not going to get too much information from these things. Um, shipped vintage selective service system notice of classification issued 1957. Mm, not really much. Um, I, I think this is... Um, Let's see. Let's see if I can look at the seller. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if I if I saw that one, but uh, it, it was an it was interesting. Um, we have 1891, the Mutual Relief Society of Rochester, New York, January notice. Interesting. Neo Ant Share PVC plastic wallet, durable, safe and secure, cold storage wallet. Uh, I would say it really doesn't do anything. I wouldn't say it does does anything at all. Um, it just kind of looked fundamentally um, interesting. The logo looked interesting. It looked like it was meant for like a work share, like a business grade like cryptocurrency, but you know, it wasn't. So uh, it was, I wouldn't buy it. So, okay. 
uh, extra fee you wouldn't buy it. Uh, potassium iodine, the tablets, pills, uh, 130 milligram expression, 2023, thyroid radiation blockers. Um, terrible. I would get a prescription from your doctor. Um, for another reason, you should buy this on Amazon. I know it would be the, or on eBay. Um, I know the only reason you'd buy it um, on eBay is because it is um, buyable. Uh, you can buy it there. Uh, but when you go down to it, uh, you want um, pharmaceutical approved medication. Um, you don't want any potassium iodine from, iodide from eBay. Those are bad decisions. It might look cool. It might look neat. Uh, it's not. Um, you do the same from Amazon. Uh, it's going to taste bad. They don't have a real seller for potassium iodide, unfortunately. Um, you'd have to get it prescribed from a doctor and probably maybe a specialist. Um, I don't know why they don't sell it, but that's that's what they do. Um, and then we have this DK, uh, P50A, DKP50A dust meter radiation detector, Soviet personal Geiger counter. Uh, save your money. Not worth not worth any money. Um, it 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 probably has a lead like kind of based uh, um, like detection uh, based uh, system in it. So I mean, it's not what you need to spend your money on. Um, not really necessary. Um, and this, this stuff could be irradiated. Uh, just don't buy it. Um, then this iodizing cartridge for Static Master, a static limiter, $119, uh, bought in September 22, 2017. Mm, not necessary to buy. Um, I mean, you could focus on the art, look at the design of it. That's what I did. Um, but yeah, again, not, not necessary. You go to a local museum, do these things, or science study hall that will have the same, I mean, more more equipment for this I and mean, this is for a static eliminator so i mean yeah i mean save your money don't buy um black american tobacco tag black Mar save your money don't buy teacher's scotch pen knife screwdriver pocket knife uh shufflin company new york 1970s um i don't know if i got this one but i would say probably don't buy um menthol crystals one pound of menthol our Vinicius 16 ounces ounce a USP grade 100% uh, methyl. Those came in. It was rather ridiculous. Um, don't don't need it. I mean, so maybe don't buy. So go on. 1940 uh, Irish Kurga one shilling World War II prisoner of war internment camp coin token IRA. Uh, probably don't need. Probably don't buy. Um, Probably, again, not worth money. Um, oh, what's money um, is probably um, information. I mean, this is probably not information, so don't buy. Um, a copy, half-eye party voucher, 300 mils, Palestine. Uh, this one didn't come in. So that was September 20th, uh, 2017. Didn't come in. Uh, heirloom tobacco seeds, 100 plus seed pack, best germination, easy grow, USA grow. Um, interesting. I didn't see those grow, but I planted them in the ground. Um, I have no idea if they grew. Um, but, you know, tobacco is tobacco. Um, I don't suggest smoking tobacco or using tobacco. It's, it's a bad, uh, bad thing to, um, use. So don't use it at all. Uh, delivered, uh, Viet Guild's Macho Jewish Bread Necklace, Pendant's Pulitzer Silver Jewelry. Um, I would say don't buy. Not necessary. You want something real i mean this didn't look real it looked insane it looked like uh plastic kind of uh yeah a little bit um i wouldn't buy them uh, on 1844 william woods patent shingle machine original document for cutting eh, i wouldn't buy i wouldn't buy it all uh 1905 new york adolf gosmuller patent burglar um unnecessary unnecessary Adolf Hitler, 1933, metal coin of Third Reich, 10 years old, of the beer, what does it say, what does it say, of the beer, ah, uh, it doesn't say, okay, uh, Germany, I would say probably not buy that, probably not necessary, Germany, 1922, inflation, H. Holthouse, uh, Trump last, bandage, novel advert, uh, probably not necessary to buy, I mean, can't even look at it, so why buy it? British Mandate of Palestine, 1927, one bill coin. 
this one I bought for $1.25, $4.45. This one actually got stolen from me, unfortunately. Um, I think this is in another currency as well, so I'm not entirely sure how much the cost was in uh, US dollar. That was purchased on September 4th, 2017. No, um, probably don't need the Palestinian coins. Uh, 1927, one mil coin. Um, I could think about it. I mean, you probably don't need it. I mean, it's probably not money to a lot of people. Um, you know, uh, it's a British mandate coin. So, I mean, it's kind of interesting. It has some unique uh, ancestry, but, you know, it is what it is. A lot of four Israel, one uh, aggregate agri coins, uh, $1.99, 49 cent shipping. It was interesting um, to look at the unique, like, coin features of, of the Israel coins. But... Again, you're not traveling to Israel. Um, probably don't need to, so. No. Um, shipped uh, 1992 Hanukkah XF Israel 10 air guide KM 173 free shipping. You know, again, I have it. Uh, it's. I mean, you don't need it. I mean, you're, where are you gonna store it if you're if you're in college? So, you know, it is what it is. Old tobacco tag nerve. Um, let's see. Probably don't need it, so you don't need to buy. Uh, 1742 Ireland, half penny, VG, Scarce King, George II, Old Irish Harp, UK, Copper Coin. Um, probably don't need. Um, probably fake. Uh, most likely fake. Um, and probably not worth anything. So it is from Ireland, half penny, VG, Scarce King, George II, Old Irish Harp, UK, co Copper Coin. It's not worth money unless you're Irish, basically. That's the half penny part. Um, if you're not getting that, then probably not your topic to, to buy. Probably not worth money uh, for your people. So, okay. Uh, go on. Uh, delivered Ireland, Ireland, Irish, Erie, um, 20p, 20 pence, 20 pence coin, 1995. $1, uh, $1.79. That's, that's interesting. Just kind of stratify or what is it called? Um look at uh look at the coins so this one was worth a dollar of u.s money so just an interesting concept to look at different money metal you know different principles of economics vintage tobacco tag gold tag don't buy tobacco tag lord men's climax plug vintage tag don't buy i mean smoking is bad don't buy vintage tag tag tobacco tag sino hawkins morris and company a don't buy AZ digital sound level meter 8928EH-A-A. Uh, I mean, if you needed to check the sound signals, the decibels, basically that's that's all it does. It just checks the, the sound decibels um, and it doesn't do a good job at it. it. It probably fluctuates at like 266 hertz or something like that, something very bad. Um, and that's like a old technology basically uh i think from hong kong or something like that maybe not even that uh probably not hong kong but very bad 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 uh digital uh, or sound level meter um go with a real one spend the money on a real one basically uh delivered keds chillax mint round toe canvas gray stickers 1099 $8.99. I think that's a buy right there. Those were probably the best buy. One of the best buys I had on eBay. Um, it, it was pretty good. The sneakers like, look a little girly. Um, I, I think they were good. Um, it was a little chill outside, but I mean, for the springtime, summer, I think they're wearable in the cold. Um, and then they, they have a firm grip. I mean, better than like... Um, Toad shoes that, that don't, you know, they're, they're fast, you know, basically on your feet to put on and everything, lace up. Um, let's see, vintage tobacco tag, Comet, eh, don't buy them. Mogul, antique tobacco tag, don't buy. Just don't buy it. Don't buy tobacco stuff. Vintage 1890s starter tin tobacco tag. Mm, I would say don't buy. Magnolia antique tobacco tag, don't buy don't buy it. Uh, shipped tobacco seeds, five gram organic Virginia tobacco leaf, heirloom seeds, easy grow. Um, 
wherever they are, um, don't buy. Their tobacco seeds still grow and they won't be so great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you never know what, what kind of seeds you get as, as they put. Uh, <laughs> this tobacco smoking is very bad. Yellow blade outdoor handy credit card folder pocket wallet knife safety tool. Um, very sharp, very, very sharp. Um, if you broke in your wallet, you would probably cut yourself pretty easily. So I would probably not buy, I would buy something with hinges. At least this was made out of plastic and like a very sharp knife that you could cut yourself on very easily. I'll give it to you there. It was $1. Um, so yeah, 20 counts, Nico gel, stop smoking tobacco replacement lotion, smoke is. Oh, oh, this was Nico gel. Nico gel. Um, so Nico gel, <laughs> you take um, this gel that they put in like packets, like uh, like this shampoo packets or conditioner packets, like you get um, as like samples, basically, like in like 10 pouches, like small 10 pouches. So you take that Nico gel <laughs> and then um, one packet is like, I think maybe like three servings as they put it. Um, and then... Uh, you take it and you put it on your skin to stop the smoking. So, um, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, I thought it was very interesting. Um, and that was Nico Gel, Stop Smoking Nicotine Tobacco Replacement Lotion Smokeless. Um, yeah, let's see if, it, if it's on there. Smokeless, smoke, smokeless Nico Gel. So, um, that's an interesting one. I mean, you might want to like, if you're a biopharmacist or like a biotester, you might want to consider checking that, um, that, that one out there. Nicogel seemed like a kind of sketchy thing. <laughs> it looked interesting. It looked kind of sketchy, but, um, I can't say buy it. I, I just really generally can't say buy Nicogel. Nicogel, um, not such a good buy. I mean, you get 20 packets. You probably get like, what, like, not so many packets, probably not as much as 20. Um, and they'll probably say, like, there's just so many servings in the Nicochel packet. So, <laughs> um, ridiculous, basically. Okay, uh, next one. NAC Inecol L. Chris, Chris, Christine, 600 milligrams, freshest amino acid made, USA. Um, I would say probably not by. It looks like the, the Christine uh, um, from... Uh, the plant from, from the Christine plant, like uh, the uh, plant that um, is supposed to help you quit smoking. Uh, it's just to create a, um, a anti-psychotic uh, dopamine blocking effect for the for the for the nicotine receptor for um, for tobacco. Um, I, I could I researched I couldn't find any information of this being related to the plant. I took a guess that it was like oh maybe it is maybe it is and I just need to quit so. Um, yeah, it, it is, um, not something you really want to take so much. Um, it will, it will knock you out for a week, probably a couple of days and, and then you'll start to recuperate the fourth day. You'll feel a little bit better. I it was, I was what held, um, that was seven years ago. So that was, um, wait, no, that was, uh, let's see. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, it was seven years ago. So, that was when I was um, yeah, 25, basically. Um, I, I say don't buy it. Um, it's not worth your time and money. Uh, NAC, it may look cool and look, look like it will help your blood stream out. I mean, NAC will be, I'm not like suggesting anything, but I mean, there's probably a reason why NAC isn't sold in the market um, and then sold on eBay, basically. Um, and then the same goes for like any other supplement, such as, you know, ones that you should just not take, um, that are considered like just class, classic examples of how to harm yourself or harm your body. Um, and this is one of 600 milligrams, uh, another good example of a, a very bad one. Uh, you should just not try, you should throw it in the garbage, um, is NAD plus. Um, and that one is extremely dangerous. Um, so just don't buy it, don't buy it, don't buy it, don't buy it. You don't know what supplements uh, you could buy and they could give you just damage of the heart, give you heart arrhythmia, they can make you go into cardiac arrest, all, all sorts of things. Uh, just don't buy it. Uh, straight garbage. Send it to the trash. Okay, next up, we got straight from the factory, 
100% original Bulgarian Tabex fast shipping. Um, insane. Don't buy. Uh, waste of time. Waste of money. Um, not 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 original or anything like that. It was just um, it was basically the worst um thing you could do, at all. Uh, buy at all is probably the worst thing you could do at all. So, there you go. Um, and then we go meditation, personal aromatherapy, nasal inhaler. Uh, again, eBay. Don't buy it. Um, not from a seller. Um, I don't let's see if this one was from a seller that that made it. Um, no, it wasn't. So just don't buy it. Um, too risky. Don't buy. Don't be mentally ill. Uh, partially refunded. Happiness, personal aromatherapy, nasal inhaler, natural remedies. Um, don't buy. Partially refunded. Moody girl, personal aromatherapy, nasal inhaler. Don't buy. Uh, and then all these are because, you know, they didn't go through. Um, they didn't have them, in, have them anymore, I guess. Uh, so just don't buy. Refunded TBX, free Nicotine replacement therapy, 60 devils, dissolvable strips. Yeah, don't buy. All, all garbage. All all of them, all of them garbage. Shipped 2001 Simpsons Mania number 57 Southern Cracker. Who knows what that is? Who knows what that means at all? So, you know, you don't have to buy it. Look interesting. You don't look interesting. Just don't buy it. Don't buy other people's art. That doesn't mean anything. So just don't buy it. Uh, make it look like you have meaning with buying your things. So just don't buy it. Delivered, quit smoking, zero smoke, auricular magnetic therapy. And this is a magnet you stick on your ear, basically. Um, and it's only meant for the ear, nothing else, apparently. Um, you stick on your ear. Is it a magnet? Is it anything else? No, it's a magnet. It doesn't do anything else. It's just a magnet. Uh, so don't buy it. Don't um, Don't do something you don't know. Why you're doing it for? Like, just quit, quit smoking if you if you need if you have this problem. And then we go into boost oxygen, natural energy boost in a can, twenty two ounce ounce can. It's a can of oxygen, basically from a resupplier of boost oxygen. And again, don't buy. Um, it's just not necessary, basically. So just don't don't buy it. Just don't don't buy the oxygen. Not gonna help you in your air, your lungs. Not gonna make you quit smoking. That's gonna make you go and exercise more. Um, wow. Um, not gonna make you run faster. You know, all sorts of things. If you need an oxygen tank, um, go and buy an oxygen tank. If your friend um needs an oxygen tank, um, buy them an oxygen tank. Um, save up the money like with the friends you do know and. You know, you know your friend doesn't talk, so um, sip up the money and buy an oxygen tank and then give it to them. Write them a thank you card. Write them a note. Write them something. I, most people would want a thank you card or like a gift card, you know, uh, with an oxygen tank. So just don't buy the, the bottle of oxygen. And this one particularly had um, flavor to it. So you can just don't need it. You don't got to have it. Just don't. Um, so... Yeah, I could just say about that. So it's called a con. Um, so just don't get conned. So, okay. Uh, going to 1874 letters patent and improved process of molting rod sugar. Um, Carpentier. Um, was it good? It was sugar. Did I get it? I, I don't know if I received this. Actually, instead of delivered, possibly didn't receive it at all. I don't know. Patent medicine, Cuban stop X, received this, um, was more than unnecessary to see it, was was not uh, the information I thought I was going to get. Again, it was stop X um, papers. It was uh, almost a paper trail. Stop X, all the X, you know, littered businesses, they're all sketchy, you know how it is, um, you know how it is. So, yeah. Uh, then we go into more uh, 1934 patent grant document indicating fuse plug, early drawings, electronics. Um, did I get it? It was a reprint, and it was not from 1934. It was a reprint. Uh, so it wasn't the real one. So, yeah, sketch. Refunded uh, ceramic green apple hanging bird feeder modern small birds. I thought this would have been really cool to feed birds with a ceramic apple. 
Um, unfortunately, not so much. Not so much. I delivered Perky Pet Water Cooler Bird Waterer new free shipping. Oh, that was, I think, a red uh, pitcher water for birds to feed out of or uh, for, for water. Um, was interesting. Could lose a lot of water. Unfortunately, what was the seller of this? This is uh, the honey roasted peanut, apparently. Uh, yeah, I didn't like it. So, yeah, I, I was uh, not not doing so well that I had a water feeder that wasn't feeding birds during the hot, hot moments of um, Arizona. Uh, being in Arizona um, at 25 years old, I was 25 years old. Um, that didn't suffice. Um, so go on to deliver food to live organic sunflower seeds, 0 0.5 to 55 pounds, raw kernels, no shell. That was to feed the birds. Um, um, so yeah, that was uh, bird food, I think. Uh, food to live organic sunflower seeds, 0 0.5 to 55 pounds, raw kernels, no, no shells. Um, it was one of two deliveries. Delivery two of two. Um, yeah, the same same thing, two pounds. Um, so, you know, be watching like what you get. Um, yeah, I mean, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, delivered Spider Co. P L K I T I Delica Four Knife Kit with folding plastic blade drop point two inch seven eight through seven eight inch whatever that means um that is um just don't buy it um spider co don't buy stupid 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 company uh plk iti delica for knife uh what does that even mean i don't well i don't know why you would need a knife um on a keychain that looked like that and i also don't know why uh, you would need it, uh, what is it called, um, what is it called, um, a keychain and, or on your neck, um, I mean, the color looked cool, um, it looked like you represent something, uh, <laughs> and then, like, that's the whole point, you're representing, uh, something, but, you know, I mean, did it come as described in the picture? No, it did not. Uh, did it do the same exact purpose that was like uh, shown in the picture? Um, you know it. It didn't. It didn't. Um, is it? It had a me mechanical flaw. It was not. Um, there was no balling properties on the knife, so you couldn't um, open it up and use it for like copying, like paper, cutting paper, uh, casting material. Uh, you couldn't use it for that because it's a real tough blade to open, basically. Um, and then again, that philosophy of like copy, copy, uh, or a, uh, somebody who deals with paper, basically, um, you need it, you need a specific knife for that. Um, you know, the colors again, is it the color thing? Is it chromatic? Is it, you know, mean anything? Um, or is it just that culture again? I mean, you could say no, you could say yeah. Uh, I'll just agree with myself here. Um, I won't do anything or say anything different. I speak English like all the people I know. I'm half English. I speak fluent English. It's my natural language. So, you know, I mean, uh, you could try a dozen times, but I mean, uh, is, is it something you need? It's not something you need. It will not be something you ever need. Uh, go on to Spider Co. See, uh, let me check. Was that the knife? Uh, I think that was the knife, but you know, again, I'm not entirely sure. It could be a different knife, but I didn't like this knife. Spider Co. C28 Dragonfly W folding wooden knife kit, train teach hobby. Um, I believe that was the only example from Spider Co as to a knife that, um, did anything, um, the knife basically, um, whatchamacallit, is a plastic knife, um, that's 3D, and, or it's see, see through at night, so it, it turns green, or for whatever reason, your glow-through knife turns yellow, um, that's what you get, um, you see in dark, basically, 
Um, this is like uh, the compassion of like, you know, anybody who wants a knife, uh, you learn to fight in the dark, basically, with a 3D knife. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's just um, maybe meant for kids. Uh, maybe not meant for kids. Maybe to regress for kids. Um, maybe to topical. I mean, it's 3D. What kind of chemicals does it have? I mean, not 3D plastic. And it's uh, see through glow in the dark. Um, what kind of chemicals does it have in it? What's the old name for glow in the dark? He's I don't know. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. And it wasn't a wooden knife. Uh, it was a plastic glow in the dark knife. USMC 72 Virgins Dating Service Express Delivery Available Marines Challenge Coin. Do not buy. Do not buy. Let's see what other things this person has um, on their profile. They have all these things. Um, and uh, you look at all these things. Um, they could be anything. They could be from anybody. They could be a scammer. Look at cannabis, weed, marijuana, ganja pot. Um, would you need that on a patch? Probably not if you're trying to... Uh, be professional or serious or honest. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but I mean, when you think about the things you can do, you can buy that look cool, that look like remembrances. I mean, again, you could be in your early 20s, right in the middle. Um, you know, it's just a lot of um, unnecessary, basically. So I just wouldn't buy. And then go to the next topic. This is, was delivered. This is an actual book you can read, you can buy, you can you do all sorts of things with. It's called Robert Ball and the Politics of Social Security. And Robert Ball, again, was not an advocate for Social Security for some time. Um, but it was um, put together by a team of people at the Senate and Congress to go into social security, reform, all of these things. It's in this book about social security. You're not going to find a lot of books about social security. This one was $11.30, cheaper than the other books, handmade and everything. That way you can just have this in your possession. So, I mean, can you have, I gave the copy away uh, to somebody I knew. Um, Actually, my last landlord, who he gave me a very cheap rent. Uh, one of my last landlords, it was, it was $300 rent. Very good rent money. Uh, very good rent money. So just keep on going on. I mean, you might want to buy the Robert Ball. I mean, especially if you're writing a paper. And you might not have to. Because it might be collected like Audible or something else like that. You, you don't know anything about something like Social Security. You're going to college. You're trying to learn about social work. Probably... You know, good topical read uh, for any social worker or peer support specialist to, to kind of topically understand it. I mean, you're, you can't afford it. Don't do it. Like, don't don't spend your money on something you don't have to. And again, there's people taking care of this for you, obviously. Um, they just don't have the time to, to make reviews like this. So, I mean, rubber ball in the politics of social security could buy maybe electronic a little bit better. A lot of paper. So, I mean, again, it's, a, it's an outlook. Uh, you know, not too much information on it. Not like a, a master degree level book or anything like that. But, you know, it's it's something to kind of compare and contrast and analyze um, the ethical, you know, philosophies, you know, and such principles. Go on to 1912 Tobacco Advertising Felt Rug. Now, this felt rug... Um, might be a buy. Felt rugs are my one weakness when it comes to tobacco related equipment. Um, you know why? A felt rug from a tobacco company um, could um, be. Um, okay, again, and I'm just saying this as like if you're going to play a role in somebody's life, you're going to help them quit smoking. You could use this as like kind of a maneuver to. Um, what, what you might consider, um, depreciate the, the moment of cigarettes, like through inspiration as a joke, merely as a joke. And that's the probably only premise of the tobacco false rug, uh, that this one was patented. So, you know, 
you know, you know. So, you know. And again, I wouldn't buy it if you don't need it. This one's four dollars, more of a gig or a gag, you know. So, you know, if you go on to Bank Harder or Hadar uh, Red Saving Revenue Booklet, nineteen species is real rare. I don't know if I got this, but very interesting, very interesting. Birtovila Military Idea on Palestinian Map, nineteen fifty one, Israel. I don't believe I got this one either, actually. It's kind of interesting. Vintage Rare, 1955 U.S. Government Gettysburg PA brochure. Uh, reprint, uh, not from 1955. U.S. Government Gettysburg PA brochure, probably from 1977. Maybe, maybe sooner than that, maybe 88 or you know, 95. They, they were printing, you know, different presses and things like that. And again, you know, all not all catalogs you get, especially if you're selling, you know, material online. So say, say you're selling like a patented something, um, you can't just go ahead um, and say the thing that's in the catalog you read. There's multiple catalogs. There, backlogs of catalogs that are at the marketing company or, you know, the other place that holds it, the the publishing company or you know the book company. Um, so. You know, you got to look around, you got to make calls, and that's pretty difficult for an antique, but uh, to verify it, I mean, probably wouldn't be 1955, um, just to be honest. So, vintage, rare, 1955, U.S. government, Gettysburg, PA, brochure. And why would this person be selling it for $1.02, $2.50? $2 you know, it is considered a valid nonsense point. Uh, valid nonsense as well. So July 17, 2017, that was purchased. Shipped, Israel, first coins, door, Ivory, one through six, complete in, in each single set. Um, I believe I got these. Uh, I believe I did get these. Um, yes, I believe I got those. Uh, KKLJNF Revenue Donation Dairy Dairy year 1947, eight Palestine, Israel, $11.66, uh, $4.95. Uh, I don't think I got that. Okay, so don't think I got that. U.S., Egypt, Illinois, 1981, patent, uh, seven Egyptian revenue uh, statements. Um, I'm not sure if I got this one either. Um, I do know I got one from Egypt relating a patent that was about the soda pop patent. It looked valid. It didn't look like it's uh, listed or anything like that. If we got Gary made that one. So kind of interesting. You know, we keep on going on. Um, delivered 1939. Yale College Dr. Miners address candidates for medical degrees and licenses. You know, I got this, didn't really say anything, wasn't the whole address. I mean, it was probably a paper about the address. Would I buy from this person again? The look, 13 crab. Probably not, probably not. Probably uh, a gesture of goodwill, if you will, from a seller again. Uh, so again, uh, don't buy. Delivered two sting ring stun guns, 18... Million volts safety workout jogging run defense. Absolutely don't buy a rip off, waste of money. Save your money, spend it on a taser. If you really need the self defense, buy a knife, buy a simple knife, a uh, good knife company. I live in California, so uh, a good knife company here is CRT. Um, one of their, their makers is in Colorado and California, so. Good, good knife. You can get assist a knife if you if you really need it. Um, if you need a folding knife, um, I'm not sure why you would buy a folding knife. You could open it with your fingers. Uh, that's mentally ill, is what we call that. Um, you could buy a hinge one too. I mean, if you need that one, or you could technically buy one without hinges or hinges that you just put open with with resistance. But choice is yours. Um, stay safe, I guess. So, yeah, keep on going on. Delivered new foam pepper spray, hot, 230,000 SHE, 3-ounce flip, top self-defense police. Um, pr 
probably don't need, probably, probably dangerous. Um, where did this go? I have no idea. I think it's still somewhere uh, around here. The Saber, personal self-defense. Oh, again, uh, pepper spray, not going to help. Uh, don't buy. Waste of money, as they put it. Uh, all pepper spray is bad. It's not going to help. Uh, the list goes on about how stupid it is and how deadly it is. Uh, pepper spray will make you just trip out. It will just make you uh, get sick, fall asleep, uh, start having a seizure. A lot of people have seizures after they touch pepper spray or CS gas. And with this pepper spray, there's some chance that CS will be in the pepper spray itself. Not really good. It's kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, bug spray or like uh, bug killer. Kind of like that, uh, less severe, but like more, uh, worse for your, uh, for your eyes and, and your head. It'll make you nauseous. Uh, kind of like bear spray woods or like kind of a uh, uh, synth that uh, like old potatoes leave out or something like that. So kind of deadly, you know, I wouldn't carry it around in your pocket. Uh, again, just bad for you. Cancerous, like super cancerous, just super cancerous. So just don't buy. Saber, personal self-defense, safety alarm on key ring with loud dual alarm. July 16th, 2017. Uh, probably not a buy, not loud at all. I mean, I mean, not loud. Probably could shut your door with the room. No one would hear it. Um, maybe get pitch. That's it. Uh, not, not, not anything that you would need even a little bit. That was ten dollars and sixty nine cents. So, Saber failed product. I mean, I've seen it before. I've seen Saber make one before. For self defense, it's extremely loud. You can see it, hear it from five blocks away. Um, but those signals, um, they uh, became illegal. Um, I think it had to do with the expense or it was either um, they had to do with, uh, you know, uh, signals for um, military, like kind of uh, made signals or, you know, other resources like kind of uh, like martial law would have uh, related to it. Uh, okay, so keep on going. Apple MacBook Core 2 Duo 2.0 gigahertz 13.3. Just don't buy. Don't buy anything MacBook that old. Uh, waste of money. I think 2017 or maybe 2016 maybe is when they started making better computers. Don't get me wrong. There's some already computers in there. But, I mean, pretty bad. Unless they're, like, really up-to-date good computers. Uh, don't buy. Two gigabytes of RAM for MacBook isn't going to work uh, very much. Uh, 220 gigabytes instead of a regular hard drive. So hard drive for the device won't work. Malfunction was completely crap, stupid. Oh, here's the knife. Um, Spiderco C1888L2 IP Surge. Penchinko dog tag folding knife, chisel ground blade. Again, in unless you're a copy printer and um, it worked, um, don't buy. It was probably unnecessary to buy. Uh, looked. Stupid, like, it was, it was, it's look cool, but, I mean, does it look cool? It doesn't. So, keep on going. Uh, delivered uh, Black Legion Mini Covert Spring Assist Folding Knife. And then this one was a knife that looked like a small, um, what is it called, like, Zelda sword? It was, like, a small blade that, like, had uh, two grooves, two sides to it. Um, did it work well? I mean, it didn't work too well or anything like that. It was pretty, um, pretty unsophisticated. I mean, it was fast, flickable, could cut yourself. Uh, looked like you were like a cartoon character, basically. You had a small little knife from Zelda that was black. Um, I think it was an 8-bit knife, like the concern 8-bit knife as well. 8-bit, uh, I mean. Um, you know, it, don't mind. Don't buy. Uh, black EDC folding stub knife, mini self defense pocket knife. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one is which, but um, unnecessary. Oh, here's a good one. The Writing Life Dillard Annie Dillard uh, paperback. Very good book. Suggest so you read if you're trying to learn about journalism. 
Uh, journalism is a good subject, and any uh, Andy Dillard's uh, The Writing Life is a Required Read for some college students. Um, I did that one in high school for my college program. Uh, I would say it's probably a very good read uh, to learn about, really get, get up to date with, like, the philosophy and, like, terms and uh, ideas of writing, basically, uh, principles, uh, dynamics. Um, it's good. Um and also, you could buy it online, so don't think you have to have paper. Um, writers always love online technology because you don't have the struggle of touching paper. Um, it can cause cancer, it can cause chapped fingers, it can cause, um, uh, what is it called, carcinogenic problems with, with your hands as well. Um, carcinomas, all sorts of things. Uh, polystone colorblind glasses, TP011 for adult transparent lenses for red and green. Don't buy, don't need, don't do, don't try to be the new you. Um, this was uh, just a test. Um, but as I put it, uh, you don't need to buy, you don't need to get in the rush of the whirlwind of you know buying things you don't need. Um, so don't buy it. Don't buy what you don't have to buy. Um, I think this one came all the way from China. So just don't buy it. Uh, Holy Land, Sand, uh, One Bag, Israel, Bible, Earth, Soil, Christian, Religious, Christmas Gift. Um, well, gee, um, it wasn't dirt. It was sand that came in. Um, you don't need any sand from the Holy Land, <laughs> um, I think. Um, but, I mean, would you need to buy? Would you not need to buy? I wouldn't technically buy it. Um you don't know. I mean, I've, uh, I like, I like Israel a little bit, you know, it's not bad. Um, I'm not gonna say more than that. I mean, I don't like the idea of, uh, some of the soil, uh, quality in Israel. Um, there's, there's, you know, problems with it, but, um, you know, one of those problems is like, you know, the, the palm or the, uh, the date trees, um, they're growing, 2000 year old date trees do you want uh dirt from a tree that's um from a date uh, tree grown from a seed from 2000 years ago i probably would not want that honestly i heard there's biohazardous like chemicals and some of these things um you know and the same as goes for if any other country did it um i just wouldn't do it or agree with it um I mean, you might forget um that you have dates ranging back to 2000 years and you can't uh, communicate well. Um, but you know, I, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't suggest buying it. Uh, waste, waste of money, basically. Um, you know, when, when you're grown up, it feels like being a grown up, uh, they, they act and do grown up things. So, <laughs> uh, basically I'm not going to get into like who's right or wrong about anything in the culture of Jewish or, Maybe Arab or Muslim, you know, um, but you you could probably think you know war is a bad thing, um, hazardous things are a bad thing, you know, thinking insane thoughts are a bad thing. I remember, you know, um, you know some of these uh, philosophies, you know, go back to this kind of culture. It's not like anybody Muslim or Israeli, you know, or Jewish um, or Palestinian for that matter. It's just kind of uh, this this revenge um, idea, um, or vengeance. Um, nobody wants it. No one needs it. Um, no one likes a liar. People like honest people. So, um, yeah, I, w- I would buy something. It's him. It's from Palestine. I would buy something. You know, uh, someone's trying to help uh, sober themselves up. That's a lot of money to ship. Um, it's it's a whole dynamic or didactic about. Uh, expense, business, uh, bloodshed, you know, bloodshed is a bad thing to invest in unless you're trying to help resolve some issues. Um, so there's right and wrongs in life. So yeah. Okay. So delivered, um, a KAL lithium rate, five milligram, 60 vegetarian capsules, not necessary to buy. Um, bad actually. Lithium or eight five milligram sixty five hundred capsules. Um, probably bad. Uh, unnecessary to buy. Um, again with any supplements, just don't buy it. Um, could all do some sorts of things to you that will make you seem um, 
uh, or get sick. Um, so yeah, don't don't buy it. Um, don't need it. Um, okay, go on. This is the last here. Natural French green clay fine powder, face mask, edible natural skin detox. Um, and then I think this was uh, clay I got. Um, I have no idea where it's from. I can check. Uh, it's from All Goodies Boutique. Uh, does it say uh, where they're from? No, it doesn't say where they're from. Oh, they're from Portugal. So, I mean, would you need dirt from Portugal? You probably, you probably don't need clay from Portugal. Um, I mean, this one maybe tricked me. I thought they were from America or something. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't buy any clay. Um, you can go dig some clay up from the ground if that's what you want. Or get it from your own country. So, you could do that. You should, probably should do that. You probably should work towards uh, these goals, basically. Uh, and then last, or some of the last one here, Panasonic RPHGS10 Open Ear Bone Conduction Headphones New. Um, I don't think you need um, kind of uh, just vibrate, basically, an open signal. And don't get me wrong, um, they're just headphones, basically, that vibrate the noise out. Um, they're just bad headphones that literally vibrate the noise out. Um, they're not different than you know, any other headphones at all. Uh, they don't really conduct with their head or anything like that. Those are illegal. <laughs> um, the conduction headphones um, basically have a piezo motor in it and a plastic shell, and it vibrates that plastic shell, and then you hear it through the plastic shell. Uh, so... Yeah, not worth the, the purchase. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't buy it. So again, you know, there you go again. I wouldn't buy it. And then we got the, the last one here, the first one, or if there were any other deleted ones here, like a draft card or whatever, and you're using the end of the video here. Uh, this one is Lotus Mini Buddhist Pray Sculptures Music Machine with Six Kind Buddhist Songs Read. I really like this one. Um, if you're looking for a good, um, good insanity, like a good piece of equipment, like someone like with a business, like instead of a teddy bear business, put together like these sounds to orchestrate um, this this music. Um, I mean, I wouldn't technically buy it unless it was at a store. I, I would suggest like them not selling it on eBay either. It's kind of tacky. Uh, and this person put like speakers together, put, you know, microchip in the controller of this uh, device and invested the money to, to make this device for some Buddhist sounds, um, you know, and again, like this one wasn't the description of uh, the product. I think there was only two modes to it, or I think it was maybe two different uh, types of devices, um, and they both had two different uh, theme songs on them. And they weren't, like, totally meditative. They were kind of um, cold, them, as they would put it. Um, so in, in retrospect, they wouldn't really um, get you to do any meditation. Um, basically, uh, kind of like a... Uh, snowmark. Like, kind of uh, like a... A way to you know, kind of uh, get around the, the philosophy or discipline of uh, other religions. I think this one was aimed at more of a Christian and Buddhist like kind of surrounding. Um, but it looked like kind of uh, kind of the sound or feel of like a Mongolian or around like the topical region of like southern uh, south western russia or that of um the countries around there like ukraine or tajikistan or turkey or Uzbekistan, around those regions like where there's a lot of um a lot of folly a lot of sickness and things like that uh, some of it having to do with miners working in open mines for metal and things like that like such as like in case of like working for plutonium or uranium um so, I mean, you wouldn't need to buy it probably at the store. If you needed to hear it, I'm sure uh, you could probably look up a music box online and then um, 
you could go ahead and listen to it, but it goes, na, 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 na. It wasn't like really chanting. It was kind of chanting, an audio recording, kind of not good to listen to, but, you know, that's what you got. So, I mean, this is pretty much what you get from eBay. Uh, and again, I mean, you can't go wrong with eBay if you have to sell something, I guess, or use something for work, I guess, for a real reason. Uh, but like as a grown up, a lot of this stuff is, um, it's particularly uh, like a vantage points, uh, like these documents that are antiques. Um, they could be something to maybe your parents, um, but not always. Um, a lot of parents don't think really well about war. I mean, some do, but you know, often the time they are not um, in a situation where they can have these documents, uh, like like in a war torn country, or uh, in the case of like you know, something else they're trying to take advantage of, this person's family with patents. Um, I think there's patent, like, revengers or seekers, you know, try to outdo patents or buy them out. Um, you know, I mean, it's the same with, you know, anything you don't like, um, you don't want to do something you don't need to do. Um, uh, you know, the real principle of this is, you know, uh, spend time doing something you want to do. Um, you know, like, one of the, the buys I got was a draft card, and um, I really appreciated that I got that draft card. Um, it made me feel uh, a little bit better. It was kind of an interesting antique. Um, unfortunately, it was lost. Um, but, um, well, actually, it was destroyed. Um, so, you know, the certain draft card was from a certain person. Uh, but, you know, I won't say their name. It starts with the R. And the first name starts with the E. So, just kind of interesting. You know, that was probably the one find I liked on eBay. And the draft card was something I did want to keep for a very long time. So, you know, these were the things I got from eBay. And these are the things I didn't need from eBay at the same time. So I hope you, like, learned a story from this story. I, I just told you about all the things you can buy from eBay, basically. Um, I mean, you could spend a year, you could spend several years buying from eBay. But... You know, are there things you, you want to buy? Um, you know, again, probably not things you want to buy. Um, to have to do, you know, pretty much nothing at all. I mean, you could do something with your time. Uh, you could, you know, find some adventure. You could go to school. You could you know, do something new. Um, but at the same time, I mean, you're not going to find much on eBay. Like, there's, like, computer equipment you can buy. But... Is it the computer equipment you need? Like, you could buy a firewall for $200. Um, will it work? Again, you don't know. Uh, you know, suffice to say, like, a tempered class for Google, uh, like, training for Google, uh, professional, like, training, you know, costs, like, $1,000, I think, maybe less or something like that. But uh, that's on Coursera. That's an actual, uh, like, seven-module class. I mean, some schools give credit for that. But, again... You know, it's not always the case. So you have to look around. And in the case of, like, going to school, so you go, um, Sophia.org uh, offers um, uh, college education. It's $600 a year or $300 for six months, I believe, or something like that, or $100 per per month. Um, so, I mean, you can take as many classes as you want there. Um, and again, I mean, you can look through the history. You could go study it. You could take U.S. history on on a website or something like sailor.org. Um, you know, I guess, yeah, I mean, eBay, interesting, YouTube, interesting. Don't believe everything or review you get um, from these people reviewing things on eBay. It's it's probably not very good. Um, and I mean, you do another review after that and you do another review after that, but it won't seem good. It won't be the best you could do. You know, going to the store might be good, but, you know, at the same time, um, you know, looking into these gear principles, like if you're getting electronics, right, I mean, you can go to mooser.com, right? Uh, Mooser is a supplier of electronics. You could buy from them. And you could buy from them instead of this, this purchaser on eBay. There's real no reason you'd buy from the eBay supplier. It's much more dirty. It's considered dirty. Um, yeah, really no reason at all. So, you know, this is what you what you get from uh, eBay.com. So, 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed.